So I just finished harvesting Jamaican sorrel. Here they are. And I'm going to use them to share my delicious sorrel drink recipe with you guys. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Earth's Medicine, the channel that introduces you to the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. So for those of you who don't know, sorrel is a member of the hibiscus family, which is that plant. And the Jamaican sorrel drink is a very popular drink here in Jamaica during the Christmas holiday season. And Jamaicans absolutely love to drink a glass of sorrel drink with a slice of Jamaican Christmas fruitcake. And when done properly, it can be very rich, very refreshing, and also very delicious. Now there are variations of this recipe, but the one that I'll be sharing has been in my family for generations. Sorrel also has some really good health benefits, and I'm going to be sharing some of these with you today, as well as some of the nutrients. And we're starting right now. So guys, it's late evening here in Jamaica right now. And you know, the days are very short, so it's almost night. And the mosquitoes are out in their numbers. So if you see me hitting myself like this, please don't think I'm going insane, right? <coughs> Oh my god these mosquitoes okay guys so in terms of the nutritional content we're going to look at the vitamins jamaican soil is very rich in vitamin c and as we all know vitamin c helps to build our immune systems it's great for the skin it's great for wound healing and it helps our bodies to absorb iron and many other things it also contains vitamin A in appreciable quantities. And we all know that vitamin A can also help to build the immune system. It's great for the eyes and the skin and many other things as well. The Jamaican sorrel also contains some of the, v, some of the B vitamins. And in terms of the, I'm sorry. <laughs> and in terms of the, the mineral content, it also contains a good amount of calcium. And we all know that calcium can help us to build and maintain strong bones and teeth among many other things and it contains a decent amount of iron as well it contains flavonoids and for those of you who don't know flavonoids can help to prevent free radical damage which is something that can contribute to some serious diseases um, i'm talking things like cancer things like diabetes and coronary heart disease for example if you suffer from period pains then i would definitely recommend the tea because it can help with that and if you're looking to lose weight, it contains something called lactone, which can also help with that. In terms of antioxidants, it's very rich in that. And it's held in the same regard as cranberries and pomegranates, you know. And there's a university here in Jamaica called Northern Caribbean University. And a few years back, they did some research on the plant and they found out that it can kill some cancer cells. So as you can see, it has some really good health benefits like I'd said before and some good nutrients these mosquitoes are really giving me a hard time guys and I know you really want to get to the demo so let's jump right into it
it's pretty good. So guys, if you would like to reap the maximum health benefits from the Jamaican sorrel drink, then I would recommend that you cut down on the alcohol. It gives it a really nice kick, but you know, it's counter effective. And I also recommend that you cut down on the sugar as well. I must admit that these things really help to improve the taste. However, like I said, you'll be able to reap the maximum health benefits. As I'd mentioned earlier on in the video, there are some persons who will, you know, make variations with this recipe. Some persons will add more ingredients, some will take out some of these ingredients, but the main ingredients are the sorrel, the ginger, the sugar. You know, some persons make a non-alcoholic version of this drink as well. Some persons add pimento, some persons add orange peel and other things. And sorrel is pretty much like fine wine, so it gets better with age. And um, you can make extra batches if you wish. You know, all you have to do is just adjust the measurements accordingly and you can store it into the refrigerator. So it can last, you know, quite a long time in the refrigerator with some of these ingredients. So if you haven't tried the Jamaican sorrel drink as yet, give this recipe a try and let me know how it fares. Cheers.